What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I'm back with another video. So today I am actually doing trying this new Travis Scott meal from McDonald's. Um, a lot of people have been talking about this sandwich. You know, I don't know. The hype of this sandwich is not as big as the hype of the sandwich when the Popeye's chicken sandwich came out. But a lot of people have been talking about the sandwiches all on the internet and stuff. So it's like, to me, I like McDonald's, but I don't eat McDonald's all the time. As I always said, all the McDonald's food tastes the same to me. That's just the type of person I am. So it's not as big as the Popeye's chicken sandwich back in the day when it was, when it first came out, people was literally going to jail over this sandwich. I mean, literally getting locked up over this sandwich. Me, I sat in line, patiently waited. That sandwich disappeared for like two or three months and it came right back, I think in October of last year was it october november that chicken sandwich came back but anyway man after the video man don't forget to like the video if you are not subscribed to the cryer family man turn that bell on so you'll be subscribed to the channel but turning that bell on only means that you're subscribed doesn't mean you get notifications you need to turn on the other bell with the vibrating symbol that way you'll be subscribed and you will also get notifications um if you have any video idea suggestions that you want your boy to do leave me a comment in the comment section down below after this video so this is what that sandwich is looking like guys let me take it off the pack that's what it's looking like okay so it's got bacon pickle lettuce onion cheese it's got all kind of stuff on it. It actually looks pretty good, to be frankly honest with you. Um, again, I don't really stomach McDonald's burgers too good because I don't eat their burgers and stuff all the time. What I do like is their breakfast food, like their sausage egg burrito with that pecani sauce. So I'm gonna say my grace real quick and I'm gonna give this thing a try, see what's up. Thank you for this food I'm about to receive, Lord. Thank you for the blessings, Lord. Thank you for watching on my household, Lord. Continue to keep me, keep, continue to strengthen me in every area of my life, even at my weakest moment. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So the sandwich actually came with, I'm assuming, the sandwich came with barbecue sauce, or maybe supposed to dip the fries in barbecue sauce. You know what? I'm just gonna take this stuff right here. I'm just gonna pour it right on my sandwich. Cause I think that's what the sauce is for. Comment down below if I'm if I'm doing this right. Actually, I don't think there's really a right or wrong way to do this. I think you either dip your fries in it or you put the burger in the sauce. So let's see. Okay. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Gotta eat these fries because when they get cold, I can't stand eating cold fries. You can tell they get cold. I think I will be going back to get the sandwich again. The sandwich is actually pretty good. Now, in case you guys are thinking about going out, <clears throat> getting this Travis Scott McDonald's meal, keep in mind that if you order the sandwich, I'm sorry, if you order this particular sandwich meal online, you'll only pay six bucks for the sandwich meal. But if you just pull up through the drive-thru without ordering online, you're gonna pay $3.18 more. So my total for this um, Travis Scott meal was $9.18 because I didn't order this sandwich online. Or this meal online. Is it worth $9.18? Absolutely not. 
Next time I will be ordering it online and I have a case for it. Again, some people can eat McDonald's every day. I'm just not one of those people. I, I just can't eat it every day. And if you do the math, if you pull up to McDonald's with your family, four or five people in a vehicle, and you guys do not order it online, you're probably gonna end up paying anywhere in the upwards of 50 to 60 bucks for one car load of people for this particular meal. Again, it's good, but the sandwich is not worth um, $9. There's nothing different about the fries. Nothing really different about the barbecue sauce. It's regular chicken nugget barbecue sauce. So there's nothing really special about it. But the sandwich is definitely good. But again, it's definitely not worth the $9 that they charge you for it if you don't get it online. Now, I don't know how long this meal is going to be out because McDonald's seem like when they come with something new, it's only for a period of time. Like you guys remember the chicken McNutt, I mean not the chicken McNutt, but the um, McRib sandwich. The McDonald's McRib sandwich was huge back in the day. And they sold out of it constantly, but then they took it off the market. It's like, I mean off the menu. So like, why do you take something that sells so good off the menu? It's like something that people want. There was another item that they had on the menu that was extremely big. And it was the number one seller. What did they do a few months later? They discontinued it. But they'll go back to selling regular normal stuff that people see all the time. So, I don't know. But anyway, this is not gonna be a long video by any means. But I do like the sandwich. <clears throat> they actually put a lot of bacon on the sandwich too. That's one of the things I do notice. They did load the sandwich up with bacon. And most restaurants, they don't do that. You can taste the bacon in every single bite. So if you if you, if you are a bacon lover, this would definitely be a sandwich for you. Hmm, not bad. or ask McDonald's <clears throat> for a Coca-Cola with my meal. I'm just realizing that it's root beer. It's not a Coca-Cola. <clears throat> At the drive-thru, I asked for the Travis Scott meal and they charged me $9.18. When I got to the second one to pick my order up, the lady said I ordered a 20-piece nugget. So, not only did they mess my order up, or they gave me, or they tried to give me a 20 piece nugget, but they corrected the meal and still gave me the wrong drink. So it's all good though, people make mistakes. And then it's Sunday. So who wants to cook on a Sunday? A lot of people getting out of church and stuff like that, going through drive through so I don't really fault them for it. I'm not even really upset about it. Whew. Well, that's it, guys. I am going to go ahead and end this video off, man. Now, I rate that Travis Scott sandwich. Again, I can't really rate the whole meal because the fries are just what they are, everyday fries. But the sandwich, one out of 10, 
I would give the Travis Scott sandwich a five. I mean, uh, it's not really worth all the hype that people are talking about. I'm not hating on McDonald's, but the sandwich really wasn't worth all the hype that's going on. But the sandwich was pretty good. Will I get the sandwich again? Yes, I will. Um, eventually, but next time I get it, I will be taking my butt online and ordering that sandwich. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video off, man. Until next time, I'm Damian Cryer. You guys have a wonderful, blessed, and amazing Sunday. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.